Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video. I know it's been a while, there's just not been no happening really. Uh, so I'm going to do a bit of a catch up today, but we're going to start off with the best news that's happened recently. I got bombarded with messages this morning. First message I read on Twitter was from my friend Jimmy saying, Chris, fucking wake up to the news of Vivis holding their first concert. Two dates in Korea. As always with uh, K-pop and concerts, you either get told well in advance or not very advanced. So we have two dates on the 1st and 2nd of June, which is like four weeks away. Um, they're playing the KBS Arena. Um, I pulled up a few things. Um, so as always with a foreign thing, you've got to jump through several hoops. There are ways to get this. You've got to register your interest on a global ticketing system. You've got to do something on Durham Cafe to uh, register your um, your buddy number, Navi number, which I don't want to show just in case someone steals it, uh, like they did last time, actually. The first time I did an unboxing uh, for the first uh, official fan club, I, I left my number on there. I didn't know. I didn't know it was a specific thing that needed using for something. It's been used. This new one, not yet. So, yes, I'm going to try my best to get out there. I've said before, my trip to Korea has been on hold until there's a concert. Either G-Friend or Viviz. I've said this to people in Korea that have wanted me to go out there and meet them. Hello, SJ, if you're watching this. Um, so, yes, I've <laughs> kind of been pre-booked for a TV gig as well, <laughs> which... I'll get into that another time. Yeah, I just mentioned I might be coming in June, and then I get a message later saying uh, the PD, the PD name of the show, <laughs> wants you on his show. It's like, okay, I need got tickets or a flight. So it's been a manic morning. So we get the girls, KBS Arena. Had a quick Google of this, and it's a quite intimate looking area. I do know the Dream is Dreamcatcher have played there, and. It's quite an intimate looking area. Like this, this is it. This is all of it. It doesn't go much further than this. Can't... Like this, it, this is it. This is it. This is it. It's not huge. So we're thinking like 700,000 people. There's some stuff down here. But I kind of dig it. I kind of dig it. No matter where you get a ticket, my, my initial thought was if I, if I don't, get through the Durham Cafe stuff and use my membership number and I'm just left into the pre-sale world, I don't want to be up in the rafters. Well, here, if I'm up in the rafters, I can still see them. That's my thing. I didn't go see twice in London because if I were up in the rafters, I'd be watching ants dancing on stage. And who wants to pay all of that? I know some of it's an experience, but I can watch the DVD and see them better. At least here, this kind of gives me vibes of when I went down to see Red Velvet, and no matter where you sat, it does feel like a, a slightly smaller version of Wembley Arena. So, yeah, this is it from a, another view. Uh, so, for us, Johnny Foreigners, we have to go through Global Interpark, sign up, fan club confirmation. Ooh, that wasn't there earlier. I will do that in a bit. But it gives a little bit more information blah, 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 of the seating that we get. So there's R and S seating. Price-wise, R seating, 43,000 won. I think that's around $80, $85, which that's still cheaper than what I paid for Red Velvet. I know my friend SJ mentioned, hey, but you're also flying to Korea and spending a week at a hotel. It's like, okay, 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 fine. So, yes. So... There is, there is front row. I'm going to try my best to get somewhere around here. But really, I'd, I'd, I'd be happy anywhere. Um, date wise, am I go for both dates? I don't know. Maybe. Uh, I'm probably going to get two tickets. My friend Jimmy, who's going to be coming with me, is going to get a ticket for him and his friend. And then I'm going to get a ticket for me. And I don't know. Maybe I'll do a giveaway. Maybe on the day of the concert, I will put up a little picture of somewhere I am and the first person to find me and prove that they're subscribed to me on my channel will get the spare ticket. Would be nice if it's a good looking girl, but either way, I might do a giveaway. So I'm probably going to get two tickets. 
just to see. So that's what we know so far. I'm excited. I've been holding off on going to Korea. Hoping for this. Now let's just see if it all pans out. There might be another video next week when it's all gone to sale. It's all sold out saying, guess I'm not going guys. So if there's anyone at BPM watching this and would like to maybe slide me a ticket. I, ha I have done a lot of good free promotion for the girls. I like them a lot. Spent an awful lot of money. Maybe. If not, I'm just glad the girls are getting away. If it is a, a proper world tour, maybe they'll come to London. They did say when I saw them two years ago, we'll be back. But I've had I've had women in my life promise me many things and not come to fruition. So I'm not <laughs> a little bit jaded on that. So we'll see. We'll see. Just glad that the girls are out there doing something. It has been relatively quiet for a while and I thought they were brewing something up in the background. I was thinking it's either going to be a tour, a concert, or because of the length, maybe like a full album for the next comeback. We shall see. But we've got a concert. That's one tick off the bucket list of Vivi's. We've waited a few years. They've now got that. Will there be special guests? Let's not, let's not, let's not, let's not. I'll think of that stuff if I get tickets. Because if not, I'll be crushed if there is special guests and I'm not there. We'll see. Anyway, let me know your thoughts below. If you're planning on going, let me know. If anyone knows how to use all this membership stuff, also let me know below because I, I, I do not know. I have not leveled up on Durham Cafe. I have tried four times and been rejected four times. It is like my dating life. No matter how hard I try, <laughs> I get rejected. So yes, thanks for watching guys. Catch you in the next video.